Hello viewers, this is Hair Otlinia. Welcome back to my playthrough of Lightning Returns Final Fantasy XIII. Previously, we started infiltrating the Temple Ruins and the Dead Dunes. We have made our way to the southwest, to the Golden Chamber. Here we are. The Golden Chamber Lower there are three Level. Murals, so you'll need to find three tablets to see them all. You have to raid all three shrines if you're gonna get the tablets you need. Now we have to wait a few minutes to get this door to open. And there we are. We need that to trip the switch. The door is now open. Very good. And on the scaffolding, there's a treasure ball. Open it up, Light. And our satin scrunchie is upgraded. Status ailments resistance now goes up by 66% rather than 50%. Very helpful. And here is a Pilgrim's Crux. A skeletal note. I need to activate the switch to open the door. I see a switch behind the railing, but how can I reach that? It's been done now, sir. The switch mentioned in the note is in this room. Too bad this guy waited a bit too long. Ah, oh, some enemies. Gremlins and goblets. Bye bye, enemy group. Nice to have Fang along while fighting those guys. <laughs> you made it all the way here, did ya? Yes, sir. Here is another treasure ball. with poison level 2. Let's go in here now. Here is another treasure ball. It used to contain the Thorn of Speed bangle, but now 1500 gil. So, up the ladder. We'll drop down here for another treasure ball. Our cursed band is upgraded.
There we go. Cruel Healer. Maximum HP is lowered by 30% now, as opposed to being lowered by 33% earlier. Now let's climb back out. And there is a Pilgrim's Crux in this room. Another Pilgrim's Crux. We'll drop back down again. Oh, a Schrodinger. Hello, Schrodinger. Goodbye. Important. I found a crux and I'm willing to sell. Come and find me in front of the settlement shops. You'll recognize me by the lantern on my belt. Crux Hunter. All right, and we'll hit this and activate the destination, Temple Ruins Golden Chamber. Very good. Ah, an Earth Eater. Gotta get past this guy. What's up, Earth Eater? You think you can be forgiven? Slow. I said slow. Bye-bye, Earth Eater. 
certainly lives up to its name. A desert rose. How lovely. And here we have another Pilgrim's Crux. In case you didn't have enough. So let's drop down now. And we'll follow this corridor. You know, we were holding up half the world when we were here. So long, foes. Not like it's something I can brag about, though. It wasn't heroic at all. It was more like atonement for all we'd done wrong before. No, not even that. There's no amount of atonement that will ever make right all the deaths we caused, all the lives that were destroyed. I know Vanille worries about that, too. She wants to... Let's have some fun! Surprise, surprise, goblets. Evil has a price. Bye bye, foes. Goblet hairballs. She can, but I don't think it's something that you can make up for. What's done is done. You leave that person alone, skeletons. Fang, you got this. Bye bye, boneheads. You've made it pretty far in, haven't you? You're gonna keep going? Good luck! Well, thank you. Six EP to open this. The sides. That holds a bangle accessory. It's your funeral. Not a head accessory. Time to repent. Meaning that now it'll just contain Gil. Time. 
Bye bye. So long. We'll trip the switch here. To open up that door. Aha, a pilgrim's crux. The door is now open. I never checked this out, did I? And here is our Pilgrim's Crux. Ah, uh, hello, Schrodinger. Together, we can't lose. And goodbye. Sorry to win and run. Not really. Up this ladder. And here is a treasure ball. Let's have a ball. A golden scarab. We'll jump up here now and open up this one. Our sparrow comb is upgraded to a sparrow comb plus. Sparrow comb. ATB cost goes down by five, but strength and magic goes down by forty five per cent. The desert may be nice at night, but the ruins are not. <laughs> now through this door. We'll find a Gorongatch. Don't let your guard down. It's your funeral. Bye bye, Gorongatch.
Medigard. And in here, there's yet another treasure ball. And our Swift Ornament is upgraded. Swift Ornament Plus. Here it is. Combo Crush. Stagger Capability goes down by 25%. Originally it was going down by 30%. I'll avoid dropping down that hole. Instead, we'll come out here and drop outside. Here is another Pilgrim's Crux. Good to know. And if we use the crux on the store, we'll get a way out. I'd say this is a shortcut out of the ruins. Good to know if you need to get back to the desert fast. And we'll activate this red cactuar statue. Unlocking the Temple Ruins South Gate destination. Yeah, I could walk this place with my eyes closed. Might as well go ahead and put that tablet in. The room that it goes to is past this, along the path of the dead. I was bored and lost. My journey doesn't end here. Sorry, Schrodinger. You feeling this? The air's different in here. I think it's close. We have to be. Hey there, boneheads. Goodbye. This heavy, cold atmosphere. It's got to be the power of the clevis. What else could it be? The Gallery of Creation. So, let's install ye old tablet here. Set the tablet to view the mirror. To view the mural, yes. Let's see the second mural. I paid for this show, and I want to get my money's worth. <laughs> hey, Lightning. What do you make of this, then? It's the story of the gods. Or rather, the story of us. It shows how humanity was born from blood spilled by the goddess Etro. But 
We weren't made to live forever like this. We were put on the world to serve the gods, do their bidding, and then die. But then the chaos broke through and changed the rules. Everything went pear-shaped and suddenly it's like dying became an option. We became immortal, or well, that's how it felt at first. You stopped aging the moment the chaos came, but misfortune and disease could still kill you. And we don't multiply and fill the land anymore. No one's been born in centuries. You know, I always thought that death wasn't the end of us. Like our souls wouldn't disappear with our last breaths. They'd never really die. They'd come back. That's why I was never afraid to die for something I believed in. But now, I don't know. Dying feels like the end of the line. Like there's no hope of being reborn. Our souls will just get lost in the chaos forever. No second chances. I guess that's what Vanille wants to put a stop to. She figures this is her chance to save those lost souls. Some gear is something moved. It looks to me like another sealed path has been opened. Let's go ahead and check it out. A door opened in the distance, but where? Perhaps near the sacred gate. The souls of the dead, crying out in their despair. No one else can see or hear them, so it's hard to appreciate what that would feel like. Do you think that Vanille is hearing the wishes of the dead? Is she hearing all of their regrets and desires? And here we have... The Crux Tip. We got the second piece. Let's go find the third. You don't have to tell me. I'm more than ready to get that door open and get the clavis. There are three murals, so you'll need to find three tablets to see them all. You have to raid all three shrines, if you're gonna get the tablets you need. Yes, we'll need to get the third tablet to view that last mural. Hello, goblets. So, long goblets. Well, we might as well go ahead and get that third tablet. Grave of the Colossi Shrine. And just inside, this treasure ball used to con... Actually, 
It still should. It contains the bandit's blood seal. What's going on, gremlins? Nothing to grab. So we'll go ahead and use another Pilgrim's Crux here. They are certainly available in plenty in the Temple Ruins. Hello there. Goodbye, goblets. Here we are. The last tablet. Yes, another tablet in the bag. Now we can see those murals. That's what the man says. Let's head back to the ruins. The last tablet. And our way will be barred by more boneheads. <laughs> Boneheads that leave behind yellowed skulls. Hello there. Bye bye. Together we can't lose. Hello, skeletons. So long, skeletons. And a couple more. Is that 
tell you've got? It's your funeral. Evil has a price. If you want to be saved... So long, Bony. mind you going after Fang. I don't have to worry about her help. More boneheads crumbled. Hello there, gremlins. Together we can't lose. No looking back. Hello and goodbye. Too easy. Now to go see that last mural. I believe the sacred gate. Hmm, this is getting to be a popular place. Gallery of Forgetfulness. The place for our last tablet. The last mural, huh? And this'll give us the key we need to open the sacred gate. And we can finally reach the clevis. With any luck. If it isn't the man himself, the Order's idol, Benevelza, God of Light. Death defiles the soul. Let salvation purify you. So the dead are unclean, is that what they think? And when Vanille performs the soul song, those bastards are going to make everything neat and tidy again. What do you mean? Don't you know? It's the ceremony that the Order's got planned. It's the reason they want the Holy Clevis. So Vanille can do their dirty work. Thing is, she's the only one who can hear the dead. And the Clavis can draw the souls of the dead. Isn't that how it goes? So what does the ceremony do? More than just summon the dead, I take it? If you believe the Order, it's all putting the dead to rest and providing a salve for their tortured souls. That was enough for Vanille. Hook, line, and sinker. She says that she has to go through with the ceremony. 
She wants to atone for the past. So it's what Vanille wants, this ceremony. But even knowing that, you have no intention of helping the Order? <laughs> Not in this lifetime. The Order wishes for the Soul Song to be performed, a rite that they claim will purify the souls of the dead. If it might save the souls of those who have died since the fall, you should be led. And here's the last piece of the crux for the door, the crux base. Right, this should complete the crux. Let's try it on the sacred gate. Come on, the clevis waits. All pieces have been collected to form the saint's crux. And we have obtained the saint's crux. A bandit. Now I wonder why I ever waited so long. However, we're not going to do that just yet. If at all, because my aim is to upgrade 30 accessories. Instead, it's back to the station. I came here about a hundred years ago, and back then they were saying that the ruins were picked bare. Color me surprised. I have some kind of luck to find a customer clear out here. Don't you know it? Let's get a high potion to replace the one that we used. Thank you! I thought I'd go visit all my favorite old places before the world ends, so I sold my house. I'm using the money to travel the world now. That's nice. Before we leave, let's see what other quests we can complete first. Hey there, Ms. Savior, saving lives and taking names. Oh yes. Starting with Flower in the Sands. We have enough desert roses for Flower in the Sands, so let's complete it. Ten hundred fifty gill, a thousand fifty, ten HP and two strength. Biologically speaking, we have enough dried scales for this guy, so let's turn them in. Now we get three hundred gill, five HP and one magic. Ooh, banned goods. Well, we definitely have enough goblet hairballs, so we'll turn them in. Three hundred sixty gill, five HP, and one magic. Shoot for the sky, eh? We need to get the broken gyroscope near. Saza's broken down airship. Digging mysteries. Ah, this one requires the golden scarab we picked up in the temple ruins. Quest complete. As if there was any doubt. 2100 gil, 10 HP, and 2 magic. All right. Actually, we might as well put Shoot for the Sky in the books. But be 
careful. I hope you can make everyone's wishes come true. Everyone! Well, I hope so, Chocolina. Desert cleanup. Ten desert roses and thirty dried scales are required. So, let us hand them in. The desert is now cleaned up, I guess. And we get 2300 gil, 15 HP, and 3 strength. Thank you, Chocolina. They want the clap. Miss Mighty Savior, what can I do for you on this fine day? All right. Next, let's go pay a visit on that kid in Ruffian. The kid who talks funny. And he wants that loop that we found out in Adamos's sands. This is the kid. Let's see. So here is the loop. And as for unappraised items, we have 15 of those. Nutch, just gilling my spots for hall to ear. Dutter do ewing, wumass. <laughs> Hope, can you interpret this for me? It seems to me like it's some kind of code or cipher, but I don't have enough data yet to break it. Can't you speak normally? Show knit. <sighs> <sighs> of course I can. Look, I don't have any info about any treasure if that's what you're looking for. I've got no interest in it. Boo fed to you. Doesn't seem like many people choose to live out here unless they're after treasure. So, what's your story? Me be Lee. The world's going to end soon anyway, right? If that's the case, what's the point in having dreams or working hard? So, sitting around waiting for the end was the best idea you could come up with. Nice way to spend your last days. Well, yeah, it's boring, but nothing I do now makes any sort of difference anyway, so why bother? <sighs> no matter how much I might unravel mysteries of the past, none of these bandits care. They don't even listen to my findings. <sighs> Trowin even nies to Unsterdand. I get that it's hard to stay motivated when no one appreciates what you do. I'd say so. If you get it, why are you giving me a hard time? Just leave me alone. I'm done with all of it. <sighs> I ditched all my equipment in the desert. If you find any of my old things, they're yours. Take them away with you. I think I may just do that. They deserve better than getting tossed aside by some sulking, spoiled kid. <laughs> Fake them, Ten. Um, speaking of equipment... We've discovered the quest the tools of the trade, sort of tool or tool of the trade. So, let's hand over his loop. What is it? Don't tell me you actually found something. Is this it? What you threw away? How did you... Dad's loop? Dad? Never mind that. Just give it back to me. Now! You want it back? Who was it that told me I was welcome to whatever I could find? I'm not sure I want to give it up. <laughs> Fine. I'll talk if I have to. My dad was a great bandit, okay? But he was also a great appraiser. He spent his whole life studying the relics in these ruins. So he wanted you to follow in his footsteps. No, it wasn't like that. Not at all. He taught me everything he knew so that I could become a scholar. He wanted me to be able to unravel the mysteries of the past. But then he disappeared. Never made it home. No one ever found any clue as to what happened. He left me and took my only chance at becoming a scholar with him. Didn't have much choice. I could appraise or starve. Is that why you threw away his tools? In order to spite your father? It was stupid. 
I was stupid. I should have just done what my dad wanted and kept working to be a real scholar. But he's gone. It's too late now. This world is nearly done for. But if I'm ever reborn, I promise I'll take things a bit more seriously. I'll give it my all. I'll study hard, and I'll become a great scholar and solve all kinds of mysteries. Or maybe that's too much to ask for. You should dream big, and the first step to making your dream come true is believing it can come true. That completes this quest. We get 600 gil, 20 HP, 2 strength, and 2 magic. Now, if I want to make my dreams come true, I've got to be at least a better appraiser than my father was. I know that's what he would have wanted, too. If you find any treasures in the ruins or out in the desert, please bring them to me to be appraised. You want me to appraise anything odd for you? So we have 15 unappraised items for him. Oh, we can get an ether. I'll replace the High Potion. We get one Pilgrim's Crux, a Gold Dust, an Aether, five Bronzed Medals, five Silvered Medals, and two Crystal Medals. Now this is valuable. You'll be able to sell it at a good price. Come back whenever you find any treasure. Thank you, Elmer. For 50, you get a Turbo Ether. So... That doesn't say how many abilities I have. More than enough. Have a look. So we can synthesize some heavy slashes. Ah, uh, nice. Do I have what I need to boost their level? Hmm, adamant mallow stones. I have enough for two of them. All right. Might as well synthesize these two together. And I'll worry about other abilities later. Back to the station.
So, here we shall call it an episode. Next, I think I'll either head back to... Luxarian, or head along to the Wildlands. This is Heyrotlinia. I would like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.